What's going on everybody? How y'all doing today? So it is Tuesday. Typically I would record on a Monday, but Monday was just a really bad day, so I didn't record. Today's technically even a worse day. So I'm not in my typical vlog spot where I would usually be at, so sorry if there's a lot more echo and everything like that. Uh, some lady actually came out and got mad at me that I was recording. She just comes up as I'm about to set up my tripod and everything like that. She's all like, what are you doing back there? It's all like, I'm about to record a video. Well, why are you doing it back there? Was, so I can put my tripod up, you know, showed her where I put my tripod up and everything so I can balance it. And she's like, well, it looks suspicious as hell. I was like, okay, well, I'm just recording a video for YouTube. Well, can you not do it back there? Why can't you do it somewhere else? So why the fuck does this bitch have an issue? Like, fuck, chill your fucking shit, bitch. Like, it's not even her property. Like, I'm on a, like, a different part of a property. Like, like, literally, if the people that own the property had a problem with me recording where I record, they would have called, either A, called the cops a long time ago, two, would have come, because there's a security camera that looks directly at me when I do it. So, uh, they would have, A, either called the cops, two, come out and chase me away themselves. You know? So, it's like, why does this fucking specific bitch have a problem? She's not like, well... I have a problem with you doing it. I was like, you didn't say anything else before. They're like, I don't even know if she was out there before or not. She's all like, well, I had a problem with it. Now, this time. I was all like, why? Because I have kids over here. I'm nowhere near your kids. Nowhere near your apartment. Your apartment's over there on this side. The property I'm recording on is right here on this side. If you have a problem with it, kindly go fuck yourself. So I got mad at her, I cussed her out, said fuck you bitch, and I went about my day. As you can tell, I'm having a joyous start to my day. Uh, I will fill you in a little bit about it l later for the rest of it. Uh, for the quick question of the day, have you ever gotten chased away from the vlogging spot, uh, vlogging spot that you usually go to, like if you vlog outside or anything like that? Uh, so yeah, I guess this is kind of a question to YouTubers and everything like that, but if you've ever gotten chased away from a vlogging spot, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, let me know what the situation was. I mean, this is the only time I've literally ever been chased away from a vlogging spot, so you kind of have my answer right here. But I want to know your answer down in the comments below. Also, go ahead and give this video a like if you're new here and you like bluntness, openness, and fucking just don't give a shitness. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a fucking phrase. But I just made it one, so fuck it. So if you like all that stuff and you're new here, go ahead and click subscribe. All right, guys. I will see you the rest. I uh, will see you later uh, for the rest of the vlog. Till then, bye. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? I am at work now and everything. Yeah. So, like I said, Tuesday, not the, not really the best day. So yesterday, after we went home, uh, I don't know if I ever told y'all, but I do have a hamster, or we have had a hamster. I say had because it's now past tense. Um. Anyways, I don't know if I ever told you all that. I never really mentioned her in the vlogs, but... Yeah, so... We went home Monday. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of a little spaced right now because of it. We went home Monday, yesterday. I cleaned out the hamster's cage, and we put her in the ball usually whenever I clean out her cage. So she can run around on the floor, get a little bit of exercise and everything like that. And so when it came around to putting her in the ball so she could run around and get that exercise... I know she wasn't really moving too much, as much as she usually would, you know, running around, having fun, and everything like that. And I was like, we already knew she was older, because uh, we looked it up, because we got really worried, because she was balding one day. And it turns out, whenever hamsters are actually very much older, like very older, uh, they actually start balding. Um, and we didn't know that, so, I mean, we looked it up, we found out, obviously. But, like, we knew she was up there in the years. And we knew that, like, age was getting to her. Thankfully, the cat didn't get to her first, because Jinx, the black cat, loves to terrorize her. But yeah, so, uh, she was still kicking a little bit yesterday, last night. And, uh, this morning when I came home from the gym, 
Yeah, I was, I was excited because I went to the gym. I was doing good. You know, I was get, I'm getting back into it finally. I actually got my ass up. Then I come home, check on the hamster. She didn't make it through the night. It was guaranteed. She was curled up in one corner of the cage and her body was just limp, not moving. So yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm super, I am extremely sad about it. I mean, I'll fill you in a little bit later, like how we initially got her and everything, but like, I would be lying if I say I didn't, you know, fucking shed a tear for the damn hamster. Like, that's, that's our pet. That's like a little member of our family. Like, I was super sad about it. I'm still sad about it. Because unfortunately, when we go home, you know, we, we're going to bury her. I mean, we're not going to cremate the hamster or anything like that. So we're going to bury her when we go home. It's going to be super fucking sad again. I'm not going to record any part of that. That's that's a family time. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, that happened. That's that's why today is a pretty super shitty day. Uh, but I'll give you a little bit of backstory later on about how we actually got her and what led to me getting her. Uh, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, I just wanted to give you that quick little update there. Sorry to be so depressing and everything. Yeah, this has just been one of those days. Alright guys, I will uh, talk to you later. Till then, bye. Hey, what's going on everybody? So, we're at home now and everything. Uh, I already kind of told y'all what was going on earlier. Um, but yeah. So this is the box that we got for that situation. Poor Pikachu. Poor Pikachu with the little hamster. We're gonna miss her. I miss her a lot already. It's going to suck having a barrier. I don't want to have to do that, unfortunately. But it's got to be done. But yeah, so I uh, just want to come on and give you a little bit of a backstory, because I don't think I ever told you about Pikachu. Is uh, how we got her. Is uh, She was actually a Valentine's Day gift to my wife. And... Uh, Unfortunately, I had actually already kind of picked out the name and everything. Yeah, you did. So I picked out the name, and I had the idea to get her a hamster to not necessarily replace her chinchilla that she had, but to kind of get her something similar, because I couldn't afford a chinchilla at the time. Uh, so I wanted to get her a hamster, and it was a Valentine's Day gift. I had, Like I said, I already picked out the name, but Stacy got to pick out Pikachu. And how'd you pick her out, Stacy? What drew you to her? She was the most feisty one there was. She was the most active and playful. Yeah, so there you go. She was the most, in case you didn't hear her, because she's a little far away from the camera. She was the most active and playful hamster there was in the cage that we saw at, uh, where was it? PetSmart? Yep. At PetSmart. So we got her a cage, we got her feed, we got her food and everything. But yeah, so she was a little val early Valentine's Day gift and everything. And that's how it happened. Yeah, she's been with us for a long time. And now it's time to let go. Anyways, guys, I will uh, talk to you later. Uh, sorry this was kind of like a sad vlog and everything. Uh, but uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Till next time.